and welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole, if you're new here. Today is going to be a favourites video. As I haven't actually filmed in quite a while and I'm trying to get back into filming for my YouTube channel, I thought I would do a couple of my favourites. So these have been a long time coming. I'm going to do three separate videos on five of my favourite things that I've been enjoying in the last couple of months since Christmas and things like that. And yes, I hope you like them. So first up, I have this little planner. This is called a Hobonichi. Hobonichi, Hobonichi. It's the Hobonichi Weeks Teco. I've seen them on Pinterest and YouTube and Instagram, TikTok, and I've always liked the idea of them, but I've always really been into bullet journaling. And I've had Lushtons, I've just had uh, Moleskines, and I love them. I love the flexibility of a bullet journal. I have loved those and how flexible and creative they are, and they allow you to be, but I needed something that I could take around with me. Um, the Lushtons are the Lushtons or the Molsky notebook that I had been using um, were quite big and I couldn't fit them in my bags so I couldn't really take them around with me. And since having children, I've just noticed that I need to be a lot more organised than I was before. My little boy started school in September and the amount of things that happens in this school, there's something going on weekly, like sometimes even three times a week. There is just a lot. So I was researching for a planner and I need something that I can whip out and write it in straight away and um, for like a year in advance. So I bought this in December, so December 2023, um, and it has a page for November, December and then the following year. And I have loved it. I have absolutely just become obsessed with it. I've been following people on Pinterest, Instagram and mostly TikTok. Um, showing me their spreads and just how they use them. So basically when you open it up, it has um, like a year in a view, like this year and like uh, the previous year, so 2023. And then it has a calendar version, um, like a year of the year, which is really helpful as well. And then it goes into the monthly spreads, um, which again, is just so helpful because I can just flip to that year and add in what I need to do. It's not groundbreaking, but it has just been really helpful. And then once you finish the monthly spreads, it takes you into the weekly spreads. So I have really been just loving this um, setup. I found that it is pretty flexible and um, they are blank. You can draw squares around what you need. You can divide it how you need it to be. So it is quite blank. So I use this section here for all my important dates that I need to remember that daily to do's. And then I have a section here, which is notes, memories, um, and other to-do list, habit trackers. And as you can see, I've customized them quite a bit. I've really enjoyed um, just getting some stickers left over from my previous bullet journals and just making them a little bit more um, pretty really. Like I keep saying, um, it's easy for me to carry around in most of my bags. I have just been trying to train myself, like get into a habit of taking this to bed with me every night. And before I, you know, go to sleep for the night, I look through my phone, uh, through my emails, through my calendar, and I add everything in. I check off what I need to do. I write in a note the day before of something that I need doing. And yes, it's been really helpful. And I can see myself definitely using this again. Um, I also like that, Towards the back pages, there's some um, note pages. So that's what I do like in a diary. I noticed that in lots of little um, pocket diaries, there's not enough notes pages. So um, I've got a little page here with some, uh, I wanna do a monthly spread every month on all the memories. Um, I'm really looking into getting a Canon printer or like a little mini Fuji printer because I've got one of those heatless ones and they're not great. Um, so yeah, I thought that would be really good. I've got a track here of things that I need to do for my kids' rooms and for the house. Um, I'm in the middle of building a capsule wardrobe, so I've got my notes there. I've got notes on um, a playlist and films that I want to watch. And uh, yes, I've just really, really been enjoying this Hobonichi. I've really been enjoying customizing it. Um, uh, this one's like a plain white one. But I bought some uh, flower stickers and I stuck those on. There's one on the back as well. And I also bought this cover um, separately off Etsy. I think the cover was £10. The diary itself was about £27 off Amazon, which is a lot of money, but it's really good. And um, I can't justify that, but um, I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, and I definitely think I'll be using this a lot more than I will my bullet journals. Um, but I bought the cover because this is cream and it will just get absolutely destroyed but yes definitely 
one of my favourite things that I've been using the past couple of weeks and I can see myself using this and filling this out this year. One of my other favourites this month has been my Apple watch strap. Um, please excuse the protective case, it gets absolutely battered. Um, this basically clips off and this is the part that gets absolutely smashed to smithereens. I don't know how many of these I have gone through but um, I'm glad that I wear them. You can see the state of this, where it's all cracked. You can just imagine the state that my watch would actually be in. I've had a few different um, straps in the past. I've loved, I've had a gold mesh one, um, but it would just get really disgusting when you'd, you know, I'd be washing up and the water would just tarnish it. Um, but I asked my husband to buy me this one from Amazon for Christmas. I have had different ones from Sheen and a few other independent places, but this one um, from Amazon, I think it was about £10, and it's serving me really well. Um, so I really love this pattern. It's a little tortoise plastic one. Um, I have, I can already see the difference. Like I mentioned, I bought one previously from Sheen. Sheen, Sheen, and the quality of that was absolutely pants. Um, I can't remember the name of the other company that I used, but off my head, and I don't really want to like blast them, but that one was a lot of money. I think it was about 25 pounds, because I thought, oh, I'll invest, I'll have a nice expensive one, because um, it'll serve me well, and it literally broke within a couple of days, so I had to send that back. But this one's 10 pounds off Amazon, and do you know what? I can't fault the quality. It's so much nicer and like more secure than the other ones that I've bought from like these different companies and things like that. And um, this was very, very big when um, my husband bought it for me. I've got weirdly small wrists, so um, I've had to, it came with a little screwdriver so I could take some of the links out. And yes, I just think it's really pretty. And do you know what? I have got so many compliments off this watch strap. I wear it every day and um, I've worn it to work and all the girls at work, it's one of the first things they noticed. And um, I've been out in the shops and I've had lots of ladies compliment me. So if I'm gonna get complimented on something, it's a favorite. Another thing that I have been living for the past couple of years now is pottery. I've always had a thing for pottery, I've loved it. I just love how unique and different it is and I love to support a small business whenever I see one, um, especially when it comes to pottery. You know, it's that person's love, you know, they've put a lot of love and care into making these pieces and yes, I just, I love pottery. I would love at some point in my life to have a pottery lesson. Um, a couple of years ago I went to um, Pembroke in South Wales where, um, on a family holiday and this is really where I started to find my love for pottery mugs. Um, I, I want to say this was probably back 2016. And um, I went into a pottery shop and I bought this mug. And ever since, I just love the size of it, I love the colour. And I thought this would be a really nice souvenir idea um, to just pick up a pottery mug. And now I've actually collected quite a few. But um, the reason I'm bringing this into a favourite, it's like a recent favourite, is because in one of the Christmas markets, which is a great place to pick up pottery, um, I picked up this one recently in a Worcester Christmas market and I loved this one. It's very, I haven't got one like this. So I loved it. I loved the drip and the glaze and the colours. I thought it was beautiful. I also picked up another one from this seller and I can't find that mug anywhere. It's very much similar to this, but this colour. I've just searched the whole house for it and I've got a horrible feeling my husband's done something to it. So he won't say anything until I bring it up. So I'm gonna to have to question him about that. Because there's no mugs in the bedroom or the living room. I've done the washing up and I can't find it in the cupboards anyway. So I'm gonna be really gutted if he has done something. I, so I just wanted to mention that these are like my favorite things. I've been using these nonstop. Very gutted that I can't find the other one. But another thing that I picked up from that pottery store was also a little candle holder. Um, so it's like a little marble one. Um, I love that they're like all stamped like individually by that maker. I just think they're so unique and lovely. Um, I'm kind of going for like a vintage and modern feel within this house. It fits in there. And I just thought that was a very cute addition uh, to my bedroom. Next up, we have one of my favorite purchases. I treated myself to this beautiful scarf from Vintage. It was a little Christmas present to myself and it is from Acme Studios. Now, I bought this for £40 off Vinted. I have no idea if it's the real deal because these go from anywhere from like £150 to like £350. That's the price range for these scarves. 
It is so incredibly soft. I wouldn't be surprised if it was real. And if I have bought an original like Acne Studio scarf for £40, I'm winning because it's just so beautiful. It's got all the labels in. It is so beautifully soft and warm. I think it'd be like a blend of wool and cashmere, uh, which just brings me onto something that I'm doing with myself uh, for the past couple of years now. I'm really trying to streamline my clothing. Um, I'm definitely trying to build like a capsule wardrobe. And one thing I was missing was a bit of like a comfortable statement scarf that I could just pick up year after year after year. It's a very slow process, something that I wish I'd realised a long time ago. Um, I've tried to start capsule wardrobes for a very long time and just kind of failed at it. And then I realised it's not something you can just quickly go into a shop, buy all your clothes and you've got a capsule wardrobe. I've now come to realise that it's actually quite fun to take the time to find certain pieces for your wardrobe. It's not gonna be done in a day. And um, yes, I'm just slowly building myself a capsule wardrobe. Um, I think I'm gonna make a separate video on that at some point because it's something that I'm really enjoying. But one of the reasons that I mentioned the capsule wardrobe, I'm just trying to make sure that my wardrobe is more sustainable in the sense of, I don't wanna be keep going to like George and H&M and things like that, buying these clothes only for them to like not wash properly, not fit properly and just not get as much use out of them. So I've been looking at buying certain textures such as wool, things that are gonna keep me warm, things that will last for a very long time when you look after them and things like that. So I'm trying to stay away from like polyester and things like that. Um, those types of materials. So yes, one of the reasons why I bought this scarf was because I wanted it to be a nice statement piece and because of the material. Right, so my next favourite, this is my last one. I am trying to build myself a nice presentable looking wardrobe. Uh, I'm now 30. I'm just trying to build and create a wardrobe where um, I always have something to wear. Everything kind of flows and matches and goes together. Um, and one thing that I was really looking for was a black bag. Behold, this beautiful, um, Marks and Spencer's little black bag. Um, I just think it looks so chic. And as you can see, I'm gonna insert an image here. It looks just like the Celine bag, which is about 1200 pounds. And this was 35 pounds from Marks and Spencer's. I have taken it for a few test runs. It is very stiff. So I really want to get it out of that stiff phase um, because I can't fit that much in it. But for like little like jaunts out into town and things like that, this just goes so well with my outfits. It's so chic. And again, I have been complimented on it so many times. It just looks like a very luxurious bag when um, it's just from good old Marks and Spencers. Um, I put it on the longest strap. Um, it's got a beautiful little gold detail in here. But you just like clasp it and it um, opens up. It's got two compartments and a zippered pocket and a little bit of space in the back as well. And I just think it's beautiful and I've worn it every day since I bought it. Uh, again, I treated myself to this and my scarf after Christmas. And that's everything. I am gonna do a few more favorites now because I've got a lot. Like I said, I haven't filmed one of these in a very long time. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and please leave any comments down below. I'd love for you to say hello, and I will see you in my next video.